everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rishika and this channel is about the training and job of a cabin attendant. So the people who are watching my video for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my videos. So today I am going to tell you something about the job requirement of a ground staff because there are so many boys who uh, want to be a cabin attendant but uh, they have been inquiring that what if we can join as a ground staff in any airline but they don't know that what are the selection criteria and what is the job requirement to become a ground staff so that's why I'm here to tell you all about it so please watch the video to the end and let's get started so first of all I would like to say that uh, ground staff is open for male and female both like uh, both girls and boys can join as a ground staff uh, because there are some girls who don't meet the height requirements of the airlines so they may join as a ground staff in any airline be it a, a domestic airline or be it any international airline so you may always go and join aviation as a ground staff it's also a very good thing so first of all you need to have an Indian national passport Secondly, a uh, PAN card for bank details and all. And then you need to have an Aadhaar card also. You must be minimum 18 years of age. You must have completed your graduation because uh, for ground staff, you need to be a graduate first. And after that, you need to have a minimum height of 155 centimeters. That is the minimum height requirement for uh, becoming a ground staff. So please check on that. Excellent health and fitness is a must if you want to join aviation as a ground staff or as a cabin attendant. You need to be, uh, you need to have fluency in spoken and written English and Hindi both. And you must have an outgoing personality with excellent interpersonal skills. You must have an ability to work within the team so that you don't face any difficulties uh, working with different people every single day. And most importantly, you need to be really very passionate for customer service if you want to enter aviation or any other service sector or if you want to be a cabin attendant or a ground staff because you only get to deal with so many passengers, so many customers, so many guests of that particular organization and if you won't be able to uh, just handle them and if you won't be able to help them with whatever they want then you would be of no use to that particular organization so it's really very important that you need to be really very passionate for customer service other than that what all documents you need to email if you want to join uh, if you want to apply for an interview of a ground staff so first of all you need to uh, send your curriculum with a and then you need to send your passport size photo your full length photograph and uh, if you have any competency card that means if any uh, person is experienced that person will be having a competency card also so he will have he or she will have to email that competency card also and uh, i must say that the people who are experienced get the preference 
who have already taken the training of ASSEC, that is Aviation Security. So it depends, it totally depends on the airline that uh, what kind of candidates they need uh, in that particular time. If they need the experienced ones, then they would be looking for them. Uh, and if they need the new candidates, the freshers, then they would be looking for them. So it's all about your luck and it's all about the kind of openings uh, the airlines give for the ground staff or cabinet or any other uh, job profile. So after telling you all about the selection criteria of ground staff, I would like to tell you about the interview process of selecting the ground staff. So it's a little similar with the process of uh, selection of cabin crew but uh, there are more steps and more things involved in cabin crew whereas uh, in ground staff you only have a group discussion round a personal interview round and you might have a telephonical interview round also other than that uh, there would be someone who would be checking your height and all of that because minimum height requirement is 155 centimeters other than that as I said that your excellent health and fitness matters a lot so your medical tests will be there and then obviously you will be given the contract letter so that's all for the interview process of crown stuff so if you have any other doubts related to this then please do tell me please comment in the comment section below or if you want you may also uh, message on my insta page so that I can clear your doubts right there so thank you so much for watching my videos uh, that's all for today thank you bye bye